Hey, have you heard about the Fair Elections Act? It's a question many voters would say no to. The bill was introduced over a year ago by the Conservative government and changes standards of identification when registering to vote. Not only did these changes make it more difficult for people to, you know, identify themselves and vote, if you don't know about it and you go to the polls on election day unprepared, how are you going to solve these problems in time? Alan Lavelle is a programmer from Halifax. He created righttovote.ca in September, a site he hopes will help people prepare for election day. There are lots of different options. You can use your lease, you can use electricity bills, uh, you can use bank statements, credit card statements, all these sorts of things. But the point is, if you don't know about it until that day, how are you going to go get all that stuff? Voters can no longer use their voter's identification card or vouch for another person's identity. Robert Butler is a voter from Halifax. He says he turned to right to vote after hearing about the Fair Elections Act. I don't feel like it's very fair at all. I, I hope that it's something that gets overturned after this election. Uh, it's making it difficult for so many people that I know to vote. Lavelle will also be pushing the youth vote this election. He'll be encouraging students to vote at Election Canada's temporary offices, where voters can vote by special ballot for their hometown riding. So essentially, you could go in and say you're 18, you just came to Dalhousie University, for example. You could go in and you probably have uh, a driver's license or a provincial ID with your parents' address on it. You can vote in your parents' riding, so you can just sidestep all of this. Lavelle hasn't decided if he will keep his site running after the election. He'll be at Dalhousie and St. Mary's University campuses, getting students to vote at temporary voting offices from October 5th to 8th. Kristen Brown, WTV News, Halifax.